Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel. I'm going to do a Visual Basic exercise from the book uh, Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. This is from Chapter 7, Project 4. And the assignment says to write a program that allows the user to display any on uh, any one oh, any one of the three tables as an option and to quit as a fourth option. Uh, use uh, file degrees.txt. All right, this is the this is the file. It has uh, only five lines, uh, three columns. The first line is the uh, I guess department, like the uh, this is the year. The second, uh, the first number, the, the middle column is the is a one year uh, kind of a result, and uh, the second number is the second year results. Uh, it will be more clear when we finish the. Uh, assignment reading. So the first table is ordered alphabetically by the field of study. So this is the first table. This is what they wanted to format it like. We have the field of study. That's business, computer and IT and so forth. And then we have years that uh, uh, are the number of degrees uh, given for that field of study. Uh, so in 1981 and 2010. So that's the first table we're supposed to do from the degrees.txt file. All right, so um, uh, the second table is uh, over here. Second table is ordered by decreasing percentages. In other words, there's a difference, you know, uh, if you look at the first one, the difference between those two years in, uh, in the degrees in, or in the signups. Uh, and we'll go descending, like what's the biggest difference? So like, for example, the computer and ID increased by 161% uh, from uh, uh, one uh, uh, the 1981 or between 1981 and 2010, while, for example, uh, engineering only increased uh, by 14%. And the last table is uh, ordered by increasing number of degrees. So again, we have the field of study and this is just the total numbers. Uh, basically, that's the difference between this number and this number. However, they want us to show uh, some dots as a graphical kind of uh, show or display. Uh, it says each dot represents value of 10,000 uh, of degrees, uh, for example. 39,589 would equal 40,000 or four dots. 72,000 would equal seven dots and so forth. And on the first, uh, I mean the second table, they also give us the formula that calculates the percentage change, which is right here. All right, so the form is uh, uh, looking like this. I have three buttons, uh, one, will, one for each of the tables or the displays and quit button and a grid view. So in, in which we will be displaying the um, the results or the output. So we will be using some link and um, formatting the output a little bit. So again, the text file has just the field of study, 1981 um, degrees earned and 2010 degrees earned. So uh, let's get started. So since we are working with a file, the uh, the first thing I need to do I need to declare uh, I already made the comments here for each of the uh, tables so we can see so uh, which click uh, is going to do what uh, so this is click uh, table one will of course create table one click table three will create table three all right so the first thing we need to get the file to read I place the file into my debug folder. Uh, it's called degrees.txt. So uh, we'll do dim input. It's going to be an array, a string, so, uh, array of strings, and it equals io.file.read all lines. And we are reading it from the degrees.txt. Since I have it in debug uh, folder directly, I don't need any path. This is already having access to it directly. So this is our global 
uh, input uh, string array um, I'm doing it global because I'll be obviously using it for throughout the whole form for each of the button clicks so let's create the first table which is formatted uh, simply field of study then 1981 degrees earned and 2010 degrees earned so um, in order to do that uh, so this is the table one click right here so I'm going to create a basic query uh, dim query equals and where we are uh, we will declare a variable I'll just call it from record and uh, where is this record coming from well it's coming from in input that's the that's where all the file is being read into so we will basically loop through it or query through it and output all the uh, all the information from it so uh, I'm going to declare a few uh, fields within it so I will do let field uh, let field as string equal because we need to remember this is a comma separated uh, file we have three records in each line so we have to get them uh, we have to know where one starts and the other ends so we will simply do our record dot split and we are splitting by uh, the comma and it's a character so it's a C uh, so now we have uh, the record split you know, each line one line at a time into three um, three values or three data so the first the data is the uh, it's gonna be the field of study the second will be the 1981 year and uh, and these third one will be 2010 year so uh, the next thing I can declare is a uh, let uh, I don't know year I'll just call it 81 1981 as integer because we how many it holds the number of uh, uh, I'm sorry over here I missed the uh, since the field field it's basically the field of study this this would just uh, this would not work because what I want is the first uh, the first portion of that line the first the value which is the in this case business the computer education and so forth so the first value is index of and you can see the uh, IntelliSense already asking for what's the index that you're looking for and I'm looking for the index of zero because the year eighty one will be record that split it's the same thing it's comma separated it's a character but this one will be one index of one that's the next one and the last one will be year 2010 as integer and that equals record that split and it's like once again comma character and this one is the last one that's the index of two so now I have a field holds the value of the field of study year 81 holds the integer that is uh, assigned to the uh, uh, year 1981 and field year 10 obviously has the 2010 year uh, graduations or degrees all right so uh, what we're supposed to do we're supposed to simply output them one at a time you know uh, in the uh, in the grid view okay so now we have the field year 81 and 2010 uh, and they want us to format the output the the numbers with the comma for each uh, you know thousands like 200,000 comma 521 instead of just uh, like if you look at the number itself in the text file it just is the number uh, without any uh, any commas so it's just for the visual uh, so I'm going to create another variable now uh, within it so it's gonna be let uh, I'm gonna do year 81 out it's for the output it's gonna be formatted output it's gonna be a string and I will simply get the year 81 dot to string and I'll format it as a number 
I don't want uh, any decimal places, but I wanted to format it with the comma, so this will this will do the trick. And I will do the same for the year uh, 2010. I'll create 2010 out uh, as string equals year 10 dot to string. And again, it's just gonna be a number. Uh, too many parentheses. Okay, so. Um, Oh, I forgot the quotes. All right, so uh, that's our formatting. Uh, that's all our output. Now, what what we are getting out of this table? Well, all the data we get in the field, eighty one and two thousand ten. So uh, we will select the field. We will select the year eighty one, but eighty one out. We we want the formatted output, and the same for the year two thousand and ten out. For the output and uh i think they wanted to order uh, order it alphabetically by the field of study so we will do order by order by the field they will order it alphabetically uh, i can do ascending uh it's not necessary by default it's ascending but to be more explicit we can we can do that so we have the query, it will produce all the data. So now we have to get it to the to the data grid. So we will do, I'm gonna format the data grid a little. So, the, but first we need to get the data it, itself. So uh, that's my data grid, dgv output dot data source. And the data source is our query, but uh, convert it to list query that to list so this will get uh, all the data from the query and make it into a list so now we can uh, we can do something like uh, the output that get the current cell equals nothing kind of deselect everything by default so not, not, none of the cells is being selected when the form loads uh, or when the data loads and we can uh, you know see they want us to name the columns field of study 1981 and 2010 so we can do dgv output dot columns and the first one is zero it's for the for the indexes of course always start with zero so header text for the first one is the field of study and let me just copy it it's gonna be the second one. Uh, that's gonna be, and then the set, set, uh, third one. So the second one is uh, 1981, and the last one is 2010. All right, let's test it. Uh, let's see what we get. So here's my form. And when I click the bachelor's degrees conferred in certain fields, that's what they call it in the, in the book, um, we get the field of study ordered by, ordered alphabetically, BCS, and then the data for 1981 and 2010 formatted with the commas like they wanted us. And if we look at the sample that they provided us to match, uh, you can see that the data match to 200,000, 521, and let's say for the last one, 172, 780. So that is correct. Oh, it doesn't quit because I didn't program the quit button. Uh, so let's do that because that's obviously the easiest way to do. We'll just type end for our quit button. All right, so um, that's our first table. Now let's do the second one. <laughs> 